What did I do? <laughs> Channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support is much appreciated. We are here at Macro doing a surprise shopping. Macro is just shopping around doing some window shopping, and we thought let's get a bite to eat while we're here. Good morning guys, it's Tuesday today, just came back from our walk, drive to Starbucks, get some breakfast for hubby at um, Kauai and get a coffee for me at Starbucks and yeah, come back home, get some, get a few things done and let's get the day started. I think guys, I just quickly want to run a few errands, I want to go get me some coffee, get some brekkie for hubby as well and then I'm just quickly going to run into disc him and pick and pay to get a few things to go and stop at the wildness um warehouse quickly and just wanna go and look for something some mct the oil or some powder so let's go and get it okay. Hi okay, guys, so I'm just now waiting for my food, not my food, I've just to come and smoothie and then I'm going to go to um, Starbucks to go and get my coffee. 
And then I just got a little something and the wellness warehouse. I'll show you when we get all what I got. It's just a little something for my coffee, etc. Sorry, it's just a little something for my coffee and then we're gonna get back home. We're back at home with our coffee. Got a smoothie for hubby. And I always get him the Arrow Falafel wrap. So this is what I need to go and get it wellness. This is basically just for when I have my coffees, etc. That's what I went. I first, I first went here and I saw this was the last bag on the shelf. And then I went to skin, but the skin didn't have any. So I had to go back to the warehouse, warehouse, warehouse wellness warehouse to get this one. And I also just got um, just some cinnamon as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just chill a bit and drink my coffee, give hubby his breakfast. And that's it. What did I do? <laughs> and I came back, I was just chilling at home and I didn't think to switch on my phone and record. I mean, I was just watching some Netflix and some YouTube and I finished a few admin things which I, which I still need to continue on, to be continued on the admin. But I'm off now to go and fetch my kids. I'm gonna go fetch Micah and then Eden. And then I'm gonna go quickly pop in at Pick and Pay. I need to get some washing powder, guys and just a few odd bits and then i'm gonna come back home gonna wait till it cools down a little bit more because i want to go for my second walk for the day and then i'm gonna call it today I'm recording for YouTube, is it fine? YouTube, yeah. It's fine? Okay. Hello, baby. Mm. How was your day? Good. Yeah. Was it good? Mm hmm We need to go fetch Eden now, right? Eh? Why? Because <laughs> we need to go fetch Eden. Let's go. The reward. Take me home. Take you home? That's why I'm here. No. Why is it hot? Why are you so hot? Because mm, I am hot. No, I don't mean. I'm back from the shop, just got a few things, just some lemons, some double cream, bananas, just, just got some sour cream and some fresh cream, got some mayo, Very nice deal. This is like 49 rand for two bags. The pizzas, most of the kiddos. 
and then just for now i'm gonna make some mayo and um, chicken sandwiches for the kids the hubby for the lunch boxes Lunch boxes and for now. Oh, guys, it's extremely hot outside. Unpleasantly so. And I still need to go do my second workout for the day. So I think I'm going to just take a walk much later today and just wait for the weather to cool down before I decide to go for my walk. Okay, so let me get started with the kiddos with homework, exam prep. Mike is writing history tomorrow. Get these things packed away and prep lunch for them. Okay. Hey, hi there, fam. Welcome back. It's now Thursday. <laughs> I left you guys on Tuesday. Skipped Wednesday and now I'm back. <laughs> and then I just need to go and run uh, one or two errands. And I thought, let me switch on the phone. Let me start recording. Because I started, I wanted to basically start a vlog, a weekly vlog. And see how it goes. And I skipped Wednesday completely. I'm sorry about that. And now it's Thursday. So let's just get going. Let's go fetch Micah. Go to the shop. Get what I need to get. And then come back home. Hello. 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 Good day. Yeah. How did it go? Good. It's been good? Yeah. Awesome. Mm. You're so cold. So hot. Open the fan on that side. Don't tell me I'm going to fight children because I'm going to fight you really. No. No, I'm first. I just want to go to the shop quickly. And then I'm going to take you home, okay? Hi there guys, we're finally back from fetching Micah and just going to the shop or two. I went to, um, what's it called, Meat World. And I went to go get some burger patties. This is 24 patties in a box. It's not focusing. It's $169.99 for the 24 patties. And then I just got some eggs. This was 75 rand. And then I just got some bolton balls, screw balls. And what else did I get? I have this whole box. And then I just bought some chicken. This is a this $129 for a 16 piece pack. And then these little mini pizzas, there's three pizzas in this packet. It was 70 Rand for the three pizzas. And then these cocktail smoked fijinas, it was 90 Rand on promotion. And then I just got some lemon juice. This was 20 bucks, so this was a good deal. And yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff I got from Meat World. And then I quickly went to Apple Tree. They are a vegetables and fruit, similar to a, a food lovers, but just on a much smaller scale. They had just juice for the kiddos. This was 70 rand for two. Okay, and then I just got some peanuts. These were 10 rand a tub, the little um, blueberries, so I got two. Let me just check and see how much is the grams of the, where's the raspberry? 125 gram. Okay, so I've got the blue, I'll tell you the blueberries. This was also 10 rand a tub, so I took two on these as well. And then we have some raspberries, 10 rand a tub as well. That was a nice deal. And then they had coconut milk, two cans for 35 rand. And this was a nice deal as well. And just got the 
kiddos these but i always get these little mini chocolates i don't buy the it's very okay let me not put it this way it's very seldom when i will buy the regular size chocolates i don't do the regular size anymore i'd rather get these smaller ones and this is a nice deal they give you like four for 20 then. so i normally get a few of those for them and then i just got some nuts for me as well just a month from now and that's what i got from the shop i'm just gonna settle down pack everything away and then i'm gonna get ready to go and fetch eden it's friday today and i'm I feel like we, this is our meeting spot. I feel like this is our meeting spot in the car or while I'm walking. <laughs> but it's Friday. I'm hoping to end this little attempt of mine to a full week of vlogging. So fingers crossed, guys. Uh, so I'm off to go fetch Micah. And okay, another thing. Do we go to the shop a lot? Just don't tell my husband, please. <laughs> because that's his complaint. It's like, babe, it, you go to the shop almost every day for something, for something. It's like, okay, it's just a small little thing, but I, I need to go to the shop for this. Get Micah, stop at the shop quickly. I'm not going to film going to the shop and um, going into the shop, etc. Because the shops are so full this time of the month. The shops were so full yesterday, guys. I was going to film and everything. I just couldn't film. It was too busy. It was too hectic. And if it's going to be busy and hectic today when I go, then I'm not going to film. So I just decided, let's not film while we're in the shops, unless the shops is not that full. Let me stop rambling. And let me just, let me just turn this a little bit. Here we go. So let me just... Let me stop rambling. Everybody is keeping hydrated. It's been extremely hot here by us guys. I hope that you're drinking your liquids, taking your electrolytes, etc. And just uh, stay away from or try to avoid direct sunlight. That being said, guys, I thought let me just have a little chat a drive in the car. Uh, a, a little chat in the car while I'm driving. I'm sorry for the shaking, guys. It's, it's, so you guys know that i've been on my health journey etc and just trying to improve my overall health and that i just thought let me give a little bit of feedback on that just to say that it's going well i have um been sticking to my uh, decisions and the choices that i've made and i have been sticking to my lifestyle I, i'm definitely doing much better than i used to do in the past with with regards to my low carb lifestyle and sticking to my low carb lifestyle i think i'm i'm trying not to be as strict and as rigid like i used to be and allow for or just embrace the ebbs and the flows of it all you know what i'm saying i was having a moment sometime in the week with hubby and i was saying to him as you know as a mother and i'm specifically talking about myself being a stay-at-home mom it's not easy trying to navigate being a mommy, being a wife, being all of these things and also trying to be a healthy version of yourselves. If there's lots of other people that can do it perfectly, they do it very well, no problem. You know what I mean? Kudos to them. But for me personally, I was having a bit of a struggle with that and having a bit of an issue with the fact that, well, I shouldn't say issue really, but just, it was just a bit of a struggle that I have to cater for everybody, you know, and I still need to look after myself and make decisions for myself, etc. So I was just having a little bit of a moment and I thought to myself, I wonder, do you guys feel like that? You know, as mommies, you don't necessarily have to be a stay-at-home mom. I mean, I'm talking to the working mommies as well. Do you feel that, you know, when you, you, you are inspired or you are moved to make changes in your life that's going to better your health, better your mental health, better your physical health etc and you find it extremely difficult to make that adjustments that is necessary for you to um for you to achieve what you need to achieve because i was just here i just thought to myself why is this so difficult and i was really having a moment of wanting to give up you know and just say ah you know what i'm just gonna I, I, I can't deal with this now and it's, it's just it's becoming too much and I almost want to use the word I was overwhelmed you know but I thought to myself is Yolanda you know what if you're no 
not going to do it now, when are you going to do it? And the likelihood that you will survive your bad choices in life, you know what I mean? With your uh, family history and your, with, with your family health history, the likelihood of that happening is quite high. You know what I mean? So, I think I made a mention of this in a previous vlog. Do I want to live a healthy life, uh, still sound-minded and have and still be able to move around free, freely, etc., and just be healthier? Or do I want to have diseases and have, I want to be plagued with, with things that could have been avoidable? And I said to myself, it's like, which tough do you want? Do you want to have the tough of, oh, um, uh, do you want to have the tough of being a diabetic, you know, and having the complications that come with being diabetic, being overweight, etc.? And I'm just speaking about myself, guys. Please. Do not feel any type of way or, or, or think that I'm speaking to you directly. I'm just sharing my thoughts and how I felt, etc. And this is the, the sort of the conversation I was having with myself. And I would almost use the word wrestle with myself, you know what I mean? And I said to myself, it's now my, what hardship do I want? Do I want the hardship of fighting with myself to say, get up, go, go and do your workouts. You said you're going to do the workouts. You commit that and show up for yourself. You know what I mean? Or do I want the hardships of my foot being amputated or, or going almost half blind in my eyes? Because I had family members, guys, Lord Jesus. I had, I had family members that died of things that made their lives more difficult, you know, because, because of a uh, uh, things or diseases that could have been avoided it was lifestyle things the lifestyle that brought on these these um illnesses etc so i'm not just speaking and just grabbing things out of nowhere i have had, i've had people die to me my mother passed away she suffered from high blood pressure she had issues um, with her sugar and things like that you know so it's it's i'm a mother-in-law etc my grandparents etc so i i just feel like i, I owe myself i owe myself to say no man you 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 cannot be ignorant you know and i know ignorance is bliss at times you want to live in that corner where you don't have to deal with the realities of the world the realities of your life the realities of your choices but at some point we have to come out of that darkness you know and we have to peek out and let the light come in for us to say is no man delusion is not a nice place to be you know denial is not a nice place to be um being ignorant is not a nice and when i say ignorant people i mean a lack of information that is what i mean you know it's not a nice place to be and and especially in today's day and age everything is on our cell phones guys i mean if you if you're looking to find out about something put the time and the effort into make do the research you know do the research about whatever lifestyle you choose to choose to take part of or choose to follow um, with regards to health and things like that take out the time to read up about it you know and try it out give it a good attempt you know what i'm saying and even if you fall off a cup i mean guys you know i've spoken about this i have fallen off the wagon as they say so many times guys i mean yo i don't have enough hands and toes to come but i've fallen off so many times but i always come back to that you know what i mean it's just my husband was saying ask me quite a very interesting and tough question to to me the other day he posed the question say asking so what is different about this time and to be honest with you guys i couldn't answer the question i couldn't really answer the question but to say is that you know what i'm trying to just silence or not silence, let me say this. I'm trying to turn the volume down on the voices in my head. Those voices that are trying to tell me, <laughs> you know, those negative things that's trying to tell you, no man, have that piece of cake. No, you're feeling for some chocolate, have the chocolate or have the chips or, or, or you know, things like that. And having PCOS and insulin resistance, it's like my body is fighting against my healthy self and my unhealthy self. And the PCOS and the insulin is more biased to the unhealthy self of me, you know. So they're obviously advocating for me to do all the wrong things. <laughs> it, it just makes sense for me in that way. And I'm just trying to silence and to turn the volume down on the negativity that, that I speak upon my life and also to myself. 
to say is that no man i am worthy you know i'm worth the effort you know what i mean and if i can show up for everyone else at a hundred percent why can i not show up for myself at a hundred percent wait yes michael coming out let me just unlock the door hello baby hello. i'm just recording for youtube is it fine it's fine i'm just recording for youtube is it fine so yes guys I, I was just thinking about um just having a moment with myself while I, when i was walking the other day and i was having all these thoughts and i was just thinking about everything you know and i spoke to hubby about it etc and we had a very nice conversation and i could just sort of have not just a uh, have like an offloading moment a little rant with him just to say babe this is how i'm feeling etc and you know let your partner help you navigate through that emotions you know what i mean because sometimes we don't have the words and that that is fine too sometimes we don't have the expression and that is fine too sometimes we just want to cry or sometimes we just want to be fine too but just for i think what what this this time around for me what what changed and what is different for me is just that i want to be more accountable i want to keep myself more accountable i want to shop for myself i want to be the best version of myself um, not only just for others but for, for me first and in, in return those by association which is my husband and my children will benefit of that can you see how to these guys so I think I'm going to end my little vlog here, guys, and just say is that, you know, do one thing different. Just do one thing, no matter what that one thing is for you, but just decide on one thing. Don't try to do all of these um, outrageously with the top things or whatever. Just say, today I'm going to do one thing different, whether it, it's regarding your health, whether it's regarding your family, whether it's regarding your job, whether it's regarding your faith, whatever that one thing is, and then start building on that, building on that. And I think I'm going to end my vlog here with that to say is that let our motto be, I choose better for myself. Thank you so much, everybody that have, that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching the videos, for commenting. Thank you guys for all your support. It's much appreciated. I love you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.